Oh, nothing like a nice cup of tea in the morning. My favorite vape. We're not going to be checking out this device. I'm just vaping on it. Not bad. I like it. Vaping birdie. That's the juice I'm vaping on right now. Anyway. Okay. I've got something else that I'm sure you really want to feast your eyes on and get a good look at it because uh, this also came in it, uh, sort of like unexpectedly by chance. I was at VapeCon Malaysia 2015. And uh, by the way, speaking of VapeCon Malaysia 2015, I just want to put a thumbs out, out to all the people who was there, all the resellers who was there, the booth and everybody. Great job, guys. Well done. It was fantastic what I saw. The response was just awesome. Um, it won't be the last, okay? That's for sure. I'm sure next year you'll have another one and all the very best to you. Great stuff. I've got myself some nice t-shirts as well. <laughs> anyway, I was at Vape Empire and uh, bumped into Zach, the guy who runs Vape Empire, and he shoved something into my hand and <laughs> I had a shock of my life and I was, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this yet. And then when I came back, I opened it up, I tried it up. It shocked me even further because this is a 100 watt device with temperature control, also using the Joules mode. So let me introduce to you folks, the IPv4 by Pioneer for you. not released yet but will be in a couple of days now our targeted date is 30th april in fact a lot of people are on pre-orders in the states um i don't know the price in malaysia because it was uh, not told to me and uh, I, but i do know however from zach of vapor uh, vape empire malaysia they will be bringing in the stock the stock will arrive next week so you can actually call them up and ask them how much it's going to cost but i think it's not going to be uh, very expensive it's going to be very affordable because i check on the website in the u.s a lot of brick and mortar shops out there are retailing this for 95 us dollars only that is a bargain for something that can you know give you temperature control and also 100 watts of pure power all right so what we're going to do right now get into the close up let you have a really good close look at it come back we're going to try and vape on it see how it performs and i'll leave my thoughts with you all right so stay with us and let's check out the uh, ipv4 by pioneer for you that's the box that it comes in black box and it's opening up the cover you have the device in there and you have your warranty card from asmodus distribution okay and you have a user manual IPv4 that tells you about the product so in here everything is all there it'd be wise to give it a good read not exactly a complete instruction manual you have to go to their website to check out um, you know more details if you want to know about the IPv4 but just basic enough to let you know what's uh, in the box and all that okay so you have your micro USB charger here unfortunately I think there should also be a wall charger but uh, it's not in the box for some reason so this was given to me by vape empire malaysia so um it could be lost or anything like that so anyway we don't have the wall charger but let me show you the device right now this is the ipv4 yeah taking a look all around got this polished mirror like finishing on top here where you have your buttons Apparently the size of this is the same as the IPv3, which is the 150 uh, watt device, the box mod. The only difference is this edge here is all rounded right now, whereas that is squarish and it's got all the sides um, rounded off as well. So it makes it very nice and comfortable to hold. Yeah, fits into 18650 batteries in there. And the efficiency of this device is 96% accurate. It's got five uh, memory functions in there. So this is your firing button. This is your up button. This is your down button for your watts, all right? And you have at the bottom here, vent holes, your micro USB charger. 
this little hole here is for your wall charger which the cable is not with me all right and uh, there's a little hole here I would take it this is the uh, charging light where if you're charging it it's red once it's completed it turns green okay some of the uh, safety features that's also available on this box mod are low voltage protection low resistance protection high input voltage warning short circuit protection uh, reverse battery protection just in case you put it uh, the wrong way and also temperature overheat protection being a temperature control device software upgrade you can do so uh, with this device using your own computer as well and uh, you can actually go on to their website to check after you've purchased your device to see if there are any upgrades okay temperature control for this is 200 degrees to 580 degrees Fahrenheit and in centigrade it is 100 to 300 degrees centigrade all right okay so you have your 510 connect uh, connection here 510 connection is brass in there with a flathead screwdriver I don't think it is adjustable I tried to adjust it but uh, it's kind of stiff so I wouldn't want to do it uh, or rather adjust it some more because uh, there could be a wire that's soldered right underneath this pin here so let's not take any chances but in any case this is a spring loaded pin okay so it moves up and down it's got that spring action in there with a flathead screwdriver as you can see you can push it up and down it's got these uh, little air channels here in case your atomizer needs bottom air feed you can use that that is the uh, LED light for the charging and your wall charge at the bottom you have your vent holes to change your batteries all you gotta do is just hold the top pull and this comes off all right this is like plastic plastic some kind of plastic rubber like that and um, it fits perfectly onto this and if you look closer there's this spring kind of ball here that's got a springy uh, feel to it and what this does it's got four of it is that when you put your cover back in there you have these little grooves here can you see those grooves there yep those uh, little ball bearings there will go into this grooves and clip it tight and hold it like that so it won't come off so easily all right so that's the thing and uh, besides that and the battery compartment here with a ribbon right here and uh, this is dual 18650 batteries in series mode so put in your batteries like that okay positive negative it shows you actually with a little um, marking in there positive negative all right push it back in there hold it clip and that's it it's done all right so to turn it on five clicks to turn it on one two three four five and you can see ipv4 the pioneer for your logo early on all right check atomizer okay let's uh, bring it up close for you to have a look at it check atomizer all right click this and you can see the screen in there it's uh, not as big as it should be but it's good enough to you know um, it's visible 39.8 that's your watts so you can make your watts adjustments here all right you have also on top your voltage and at the bottom it shows you your resistance and on this side it says ADJ adjustments and your battery indicator okay so that's it five clicks on the firing button if you want to just um, make your adjustments one two three four five sorry turn this on one two three four five it goes into system on turn it and it goes system off and you have to restart the whole thing again so it doesn't turn on you see all right one two three four five pioneer for you ipv4 and yep one two three four five to go into the system firing button click it one more time mode power 
and if you click the down button or the up button it goes into joule that's when you're using your temperature control or your watts and after that click the firing button it goes into unit you can set it to either Fahrenheit or centigrade alright so let's put it to Fahrenheit click it again temperature 399 degrees Fahrenheit say I want to set my temperature to uh, 400 degrees so I just take it all the way up to 400 All right, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Click the firing button. Exit to go out of this uh, menu. Click it one more time. System on, system off. That's about it. All right. So temperature, I've got it set at 400 degrees Fahrenheit here. It shows at the bottom of the uh, battery indicator. Sorry. Okay, and uh, you've got your resistance there and your volts on top. So it's 21.9. 21.8 every time I press the down button and also bring it up again 22 joules so it's in joules mode right now I'm going to try and see if I can do the cotton test with you 400 degrees Fahrenheit let's give it a fire and see what happens nothing dry coil no liquid there you go so it's past the uh, cotton test <laughs> dry coil no liquid okay something I also want to show you once you've got a temperature um, uh, what, once you've got a nickel build in here what you got to do is set the uh, temperature by pressing the up and the down button together set resistance 0 0.102 okay so once you've set your resistance 0 0.103 sorry 103 set it okay and it's set so now, let me take off the top cap, there you go, that's my 0 0.103, there you go, that's firing, yeah, so let me just show you, up closer here, 400 degrees, 0 0.1 ohm, 22 joules, beautiful, so it's working. All right, so basically that's just that. 22 joules here for you. Let's see how she bakes. Wow, very impressive. Sorry about the fault, guys. Nice. very very good so there you go um, on temperature control we're going to take it off and try it on Kenthol wire right now I've got my freak show um, mini RDA with Kenthol wire okay remember when you have it back on Kenthol wire you got to change it click five times um, change it from temperature mode to power mode Okay, exit on 40 watts. That's why I'm going to be vaping it on 0.4 in, uh, 4 in ohms, and it comes up to about 4.3 volts. It can really chuck the vapor even for a 0.4 in ohm coil. Excuse the fault, guys. So, this works beautifully. Okay, dual 18650 battery. Um, very easy to change. Just pull it out. There you go. Change your box, your uncle. Snap it back, and that's it. Okay, great looking device. Nice rounded edges. Nice to hold. Okay, clicky buttons. Nice and clicky there for you. No problems at all. Um, dual charging modes. Very easy if you're too lazy to take out the batteries. You can have the wall charger here. It's going to turn green once it's fully charged. Charging it's red, as you should, uh, as you all should know. Um, micro USB charger. You can have an option which one you want to charge, or you want to take it off, <laughs> remove the batteries, whichever suits you. Rock your boat. Okay, so looking at it, okay. 
Wow, with the price, 95 US dollars, I suppose even in Malaysia it's going to be cheaper than a lot of other devices as well, you know, of the same range. Um, it's going to definitely give other devices a real good run for the money, okay? It's a nice solid piece. Uh, you can upgrade anytime there's a, a software upgrade, you can do it on your computer itself. So, one more vape, we'll call it a wrap, all right? Until I talk to you again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay cool and God bless. Bye for now.